Research in the Shapiro lab is focused on developing technologies to image and control the function of cells deep inside of our bodies. This is important for two reasons. First of all, it's important for basic biology because whether we're talking about neurons in our brains or microbes in our guts or immune cells and tumor cells that are fighting each other somewhere else in our body, their function depends critically on their in vivo context, meaning the anatomical structures and tissues they're a part of. So if we really want to learn how these cells work, ideally we should study them within that context and not just in a dish looking at them under a microscope. Secondly, imaging and controlling cells inside the body is important for the emerging field of cell-based diagnostics and therapeutics. This field has emerged from the realization that cells um, can act as very powerful agents inside of our bodies. We can engineer cells that can migrate through our bloodstream to sites of disease. They can detect molecular signals in their environment, and they can use those inputs to make decisions, as a result of which they can do things like release drugs or kill other cells or proliferate or self-destruct. And the field of synthetic biology aims to harness these capabilities of cells to act as beneficial um, agents that doctors would ultimately inject uh, into patients. And in both of these uh, contexts, currently it's very difficult to visualize or control the functions of cells inside the body because the normal tools we use for doing that, such as light um, and uh, uh, tools like fluorescent proteins or optogenetics, which are proteins that can respond to light, don't work very well within the context of an opaque organism because light just doesn't get there. And so what we focus on in my lab is to develop things that cells can make that would allow them to interact with more penetrant forms of energy, such as sound waves and magnetic fields. And this relies on technologies that are used in doctor's offices all over the world, like ultrasound and magnetic resonance. But now, instead of uh, providing anatomical information, um, these forms of imaging can provide information about what cells are doing uh, inside the body. And we can also use focused energy, like focused ultrasound, to provide signals to tell cells what to do based on their location uh, inside the body.